Hi, this is Tweak. Welcome to another episode of Tweaks with Tweak. Today I'm going to use polymer clay to make a pot peeker. What is a pot peeker? I'll show you. Join us. Supplies you'll need for this project are some polymer clay, your color, your choice, some wire, a paintbrush, and some shellac, some beads, and a non-porous surface in which to roll out your clay. And you'll need a bake oven that's dedicated for baking polymer clay. So let's get started. I was going through my polymer clay and I wanted to use up the stuff I had left over. And I was going to make a pot hugger. Now a pot hugger is a little critter that hangs off the edge of a plant pot. Very decorative and very cute. And I got the idea, instead of hugging, let's peek. And I made little guys, little creatures that you set into the pot. And when you look in, whoop, they're peeking out at you. It amused me, so I kept making them. And here we go. I took clay that I had left over. I had already making a chameleon and I had made a lobster and a kitty and a dog and a pigeon. I had to get rid of that purple somehow. So I'm gonna use up my clay. I've got white here. Let's unwrap some of it. And I wanted to go with, since I had a lot of white and gray, I'm gonna make another kitty cat. These are just little one ounce packages of clay. And you unwrap them and just give them a squeeze. I have very warm hands at me. Clay does get soft pretty fast. So I'm gonna take my lumps of clay and I'm gonna get them in front of me to see what I have to work with. So I know now by looking at the supplies I have on hand that my cat is gonna be gray and white and black. I'm gonna save back some of the white. I'm gonna start softening up this clay. You can roll it around into a ball two grays, both the same color. And then I lump them together again, the grays of the gray, the white, smash them together. I don't know how he's gonna turn out, that's part of the fun. I'm gonna roll it up. You wanna roll out polymer clay on a non-porous surface. This is a piece of old countertop. I want a little more variation in his fur and his coloring, so I'm gonna twist him up a little bit see what happens. So I'm going to roll it around a little bit and I'm going to choose a spot where I like the markings. Oh boy, this is already cute. I'm thinking I'm going to go with a face right here and I'm just going to build from there. So now I've got the idea of where I want the face to be. I can start shaping a little bit. I think about a cat's face. It's a little bit triangular and I want to add some ears so I'm going to pull up from the back here and I'm going to start pulling up some of the material. I'm using my thumb and I'm going to start shaping some ears for this cat. So I'm getting the head around and I'm kind of using my thumbs here to make like the forehead where the eyes will go. And I want to round out this back where his neck would be. That's what we've got so far. Looks pretty crude. That's all right. Okay. I'm going to use, I say back some of the white because I want nice, brilliant eyes. And I want a nose. And I want where the whiskers go in front of his face. So I'm using my fingers to kind of get an indication of where the nose is going to be where the little booters are going to be on this kitty. Okay, so I'm going to go first with the white. Now I'm going to try to keep this as clean as I can, but I want two eyeballs and I want two cheeks where his whiskers are. The whiskers are going to be bigger? Well, let's find out. I'm going to roll out little balls of white. Okay. Try to get them about the same size. Now this one looks like it needs a little more just add a little more till you get it right. And I'm going to take these two and I'm put them right here. And then I'm going to give them a squish. I'm not going to squish them real tight just yet. Because I want to put a nose in there. I'm going to take a little bit of the white and mix it with some brown to make a tan colored nose. 
So I've got pink and brown and some white here. Again, kitty noses come in a bunch of different colors. I would say the tongues would definitely be pink. Eyes come in a variety of colors too. Okay, so I've got like a pinky brown color here. Next we're gonna do, I think I wanna do his ears. Ears usually have a light pink, make it a different pink than the nose. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of it, roll it to, again, try to get it into two even balls. You just flatten it out with your fingers and make a V shape, like a pizza shape. That's gonna go on the inside of the cat's ear. I'm gonna lay it down, press it gently for now. Just want it in there to see what if I like it. Another piece of pizza for the other side. So we have the rough idea of the eyes, the nose, the mouth. The mouth shows you, see that little line there on each side under the cheeks? That is where the mouth is gonna go. I use this nut pick, it's a great tool. And I just use the thin side in and I push into the clay and pull up. And right away you see it made a little divot into the clay. Okay, I can bring it up a little bit if I want on either side. This is his mouth. And then I'm gonna take this end and I'm just gonna poke a hole. His mouth is open. And we're just gonna smooth it out a little bit, just a little bit because we're gonna add some pink in there for a tongue. This pink again, I don't want it the same color as the nose, don't want the same color as the ears. Just mix it till you get a color you like. Looks like a good cat tongue. Round in the front, teardrop in the back, and I'm just gonna lay that in his mouth. Okay, then I'm gonna use this tool pick again, that nice round edge. I'm gonna very gently just push it in and roll it. What's nice here is you almost get a tongue pattern on the clay, because you know how they have really rough tongues. So, so far, Kitty's going meh. <laughs> and I can push that up a little bit, push up on the clay, and I can change that mouth. Now he's looking more like he's talking or begging. Pull up a little bit on the mouth again. Now I'll keep putzing with this until the face I like shows up. Right now, let's work on, I wanna do something with the ears. And here I just cradle the ear so I don't knock it off. And I'm just using the same tool, I'm just gonna roll the tool in just a little bit. And curl it in just a little bit till it looks like what I think a cat ear should look like. Okay, you can use your fingers to just play around with it till you get it how you like it. I like that ear kitty. Okay, I might flatten you out just a little bit. Okay, see the difference? One's a little more sculpted and one's just flat. Even though the flat one would be perfectly fine. Let's do it to the side. I just run this tool in there to curve it up a little bit. Using my thumbs to come and make it wider at the base. And I'm going to pull down on to make it shorter. All right, I'm going to stop putzing with his ears. Next come the eyes. Sometimes when you roll in your hand, you pick up color. Sometimes when you roll on the surface, you pick up color. So white is ticklish. It definitely, I see a little bit of pink in there. That's okay. So this would be his eye sockets. The one is still bigger. Maybe I should go the other route. Make the smaller one bigger because I like the big bulgy eyes. Bulgy eyes. I have two big black beads here. Now, since they're beads, they have holes on them. So I want to make sure when I push this into the clay, the holes are going to be buried. And I'm going to push, hold it onto the back. I'm going to push straight in. Oh, and he's a little bit on the crazy-eyed side, but that's okay. <laughs> this is where the character comes out. So we got your ears, mouth, nose. Let's do the rest of your eyes. I'm using some black to add definition, like eyelashes around his eyes. Take a little bit of black and roll it out. Just take your finger, start at the center, roll out. I start 
around here, right around where the two eyes meet. Now he looks like he's a kitty the cat that's alarmed. Probably alarmed that we're not bringing this food fast enough, huh? Now this is where you can roll this up for any different kind of, of expression. Do you want it rolled like he's a sleepy cat? Do you want it rolled like he's a, you know, a startled cat? And this is where I have to decide. What kind of kitty do I want here? I would like one that looks pleasant because I'm going to look into the pot and he's going to be peeking out at me so far. He's, I've got an angry looking kitty, I think. <laughs> we'll fix you up though, and I know just what to do. I'm going to add a little bit of light, light brown or tan like eyelids. So I'm taking some brown clay and I'm mixing it with some white. Now he's going to look like a sleepy cat is what I'm thinking. See, this is where I just have fun playing with these critters. Okay, so I punched his neck with my thumbs and I gave him more of a chin. See? And I'm going to add whiskers. I'm going to do that with wire. I've got some gold wire here. The wire is nice because it holds its shape. I'm going to cut it into little teeny whisker stubs like this kitty here. And this isn't a hard process. It's just a matter of cutting a bunch of random pieces and just placing them where you want in the clay. Now cats have the ones that stick way out. So you can see the difference. <laughs> so let's do it on the other side. Don't worry, we can cut more wire if we need to. Just easily push it in. You want it far enough that it will stick and get baked in. You'll see what I mean in just a second. It's amazing. Next time you look at your cat, Look to see how many whiskers they've got. A lot of them. I'm also going to add more whiskers around his eyes. The new kitties that have them around their eyes. So I'm going to get more whiskers. Look at the difference. Isn't that funny? One with, one without. You don't have to push them in real far. You push them in as far as you want them to be hanging out. No, he looks like he's all just whiskers, doesn't he? So I'm going to take that bracelet that I have and put this back together to give him a cute little collar. Isn't that pretty? So let's see, we had different sizes here. I'll put them in order quickly. Octangular with a rectangle with a square. There we go. Take a long piece of wire. Okay, probably taking too much, but I'd like to have more than not enough. This is a two-sided bead, so I'm gonna come through, start on one end, go to the next, go to the next. Okay, there, so I've got them done there. Now you're gonna just curve the wire around and go back through this one. And you see why I used a longer piece of wire so I could do this easily. See, they end up meeting there and that keeps them all together. All I do here is I tie it off and I'm going to tuck that wire in. You could cut it off. I just tucked it in. Let it get baked. And it may not seem like enough for a collar but it's just enough to hold his head up and to be decorative. One more. Okay and then I'm going to snip off a bit and tuck in the rest. It's going to be underneath. I'm going to put the head over the top of it. Right now, I want to scrunch that head down a little bit. I want it to be a little rounder. I'm just going to let these beads squish into the clay. What else? We're just about done. I just feel like he needs one more thing. And here he is so far. I can go around and make sure the clays are buddying up next to each other. I want that black and brown together. Everybody's okay. Are you doing okay? Doing okay? Yeah. I am going to add some fur up the back of his head to give him a little more character. I don't know why, I just feel like it. So I'm taking some white and I'm going to roll it out. And I'm just going to pull this off and stick it on. And I'm not even really looking in the front yet. Pull it off and stick it on. And I'm giving him some <laughs> some wacky hair. 
I don't know. I'm just being amused by it, huh? You don't want these too thin? Because after it bakes, I don't want them to break. So when the cat says, enough, I got enough hair. What do you think? <laughs> I think you're ready for the oven. The oven? No. Don't say the oven. Yes, the oven. Here we go. So we've come to the baking part. Now this is important with polymer clay. You want to use a dedicated toaster oven. You want to um, not bake it in the house if you can. I mean, you can do that, but I'd rather have the fumes from polymer clay not in the house. So I have a dedicated toaster oven in our garage, which I, I put the, the clay in the toaster oven and you set it for bake at 250 degrees for 25 minutes. This is a pretty heavy chunk of clay, so I want to make sure that it gets baked all the way through. And then you let it cool completely before you touch it, because the clay does get very hot. Kitty's out of the oven, all baked and ready to shellac. So here we go. I'm putting down a piece of cardboard to protect the table, and I'm going to use some shellac and just Lightly go over him, all over. You found the bits of hair. The shellac brings out the color. <laughs> I think you're a fine looking little kitty. I think I got it. Just gonna let him dry. Kitty is done. He's shellacked and ready to sit in a pot. We made pot peekers. I can't wait to see what they look like when you look into the pot and you see the plants and there's somebody peeking out at you. Here's some of the other ones we did. I had a lot of red clay so I made a lobster. That's going to be for my sister for a pot out in New England. I made a chameleon. Now the chameleon was fun because I used old earring backs in his fin. That looks pretty cool, huh? He's going to be cute. Here's the original kitty I made. And I'm not sure why I had a lot of purple. It ended up being a pigeon. <laughs> what pot will you be in, Pidgey? And of course, a little puppy. I've always got to do a puppy. And there you have it, a pot seeker, ready for any pot in and around your home. If you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell so you know when the next episode of Tweaks with Tweak will be coming along. Until then, Brighten up those pots, flowers, and pot peekers. Such fun. See you again.